This little device right here is the missile meter. What this is, is just a tiny altimeter that measures the height of your rocket. Now, it's so small, it weighs like two grams. To turn it on, it comes with a battery. It actually comes with two batteries plus a USB charger, and I'm charging one of my batteries right now. And when it's charging, the red light is on. When it turns to a green light, that means it is fully charged. And it takes anywhere between 10 minutes and a half an hour to charge a battery. And the battery should last approximately an hour and a half or a little bit longer continuously in your flight. So to turn it on, you'll flip it over onto the back side and you'll notice that there's a little connector right there. And you just take your little LiPo battery and you just plug it in. And when you turn it over, it will tell you the altitude. And what it's doing now is it, it's flashing 10 times the previous altitude. After the 10th one, it will zero out the altimeter so it's ready to fly. So at this point, very tiny, but hopefully you can read that it's at zero, zero feet. It shows both in meters and in feet. So once you launch your rocket, uh, it measures the air pressure in the air. And based on that air pressure, it will tell you how high the rocket flies. So you can test it by just picking it up, putting it in your hand and sucking the air out. And you can see I've sucked my air to about 3,132 feet. It will continuously measure the pressure. So if I sucked air out again and it was at a higher altitude, it would show that. But right now, this is the highest altitude. So to turn it off, what you do is just unplug it. When you turn it back on again, by plugging it back in, it will again blink out the last altitude. And if you disconnect the battery any time during that flashing period, it will save it in the device. It only zeros after it goes through 10 seconds of flashing. And now it's gonna flash 10 times. It's just blinking out the, the, the altitude of the last flight. And it will do that 10 times once a second. And then once it's done, then it zeroes it out and it's ready to launch. You'll notice, hopefully, that there's a loop on the back end of the altimeter where you can take and thread in a piece of string or Kevlar like I've done here. And then on your rocket, um, I've got a payload bay right here and I can simply tie this on or drop it in with a little bit of cushioning. Your altimeter bay will need a little hole and I've got a little hole here on this tube and I'll just tie it together. And now it's attached to the nose cone. I can drop it into the rocket and then launch the rocket. I, I, of course, I probably put a little piece of tape on there just to make sure that that nose cone doesn't come off because you don't want to lose it because it's very tiny. You'll probably never find it again. This is from Apogee Components. There is no warranty on it once you've flown it or attached it to a kite or a bird or anything like that. Um, we only warranty that it will turn on the first time. It does come with two batteries and the charger. You'll find it here at Apogee Components. Our website is www.apogeerockets.com.